Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's Fred and Ezekiel for Agnes Arts and Abstracts. And I wanted to go ahead and kind of bring you up to speed on these. I know yesterday when we left, we basically got our initial white build up on this guy, building that background. I went ahead and I got the white background on this guy as well uh, earlier today. We're kind of on a time crunch, so I went ahead and I started doing some of my other build ups as well. But I wanted to kind of show you what we're doing. So we have our white background on here right now, and then all these other colors, which basically it's a red, a sky blue, cadmium yellow. Oh, and uh, like a red liquid paint, almost like a pore consistency. It's pretty thin. And that's kind of where we're at right now on, on this guy. And this one over here, I'll, I'll bring the camera over so you guys can see. Um, again, we did a background on here and made sure that we got the white background done. And this one's going to be a, quite a few warmer colors. Um, hey, Dom, keep the bell over there until I'm done. Thank you, sir. My son and our dog just came in, so we might have a visitor, but it's all good. You can let her go, dude. It's all right. Um, but over here, we have just a lot of yellows and reds, some sky blue, and took some white and some pinks. Hi, Bill. And just kind of starting to get this feeling warmer. It's going to be a warmer transition. Uh, it's going to be a warmer abstract. It's going to be super cool for sure. And we'll have a lot of things to do on this. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do a little bit of work with the palette knife as well. So let's go ahead and get at that. I'm going to add just a couple little things in here with the palette knife real quick. Let that dry out and uh, kind of let you know what tools you can use. For all this on this canvas as well as this canvas, to this point I've used just a two inch chip brush and acrylic paint. So let's go ahead and get this, this other paint going here. Hi sweetheart. I'm going to take a little bit of black and then get some back here on my little color tray. Um, a lot of times you can mix it right on your canvas, but I'm going to mix this stuff all over here on the color tray and get some mixtures here. We're going to do black and we're going to do yellow. That. You get us a palette knife. Hi, son. Hi. What's up, bro? Not much. Not much. Just fixing my. So palette. we're gonna use. I don't know. This is probably about a three-inch, three and a half-inch palette knife, and we're gonna just load up some of our black paint initially on here. Not super thick. Hoping you can see that. I'll bring it up here. Um, not very thick. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to lay this dude on an edge and just do some kind of a cool feel like that. And then we're going to come back over here and again just kind of pull this guy through here. And just kind of work that in just like that. And just a nice little cut in there. And then I want to go ahead and take a little more of our black here. Same thing, not loading it much. And I want to kind of create something up here. So I'm going to try and not be in the guy's way. We're going to do some kind of like this here. We got a good load off here, so we're going to get some of it. And just kind of alternate what we have going here for this cool pattern. And if you need to kind of stabilize your canvas, by all means you can. So I'm going to run up again and just kind of alternate what we got going here. And then I'm just going to go right over the top of it. 
kind of drag some of that paint with us. You know, kind of pushing. And this one will come down like this. I'm going to step back here and take a look. Yeah. I think that's looking pretty sweet. I like where that's at. Okay. What you think, son? Pretty mm. cool. I like it. Alright. That's my, my artist. His name is Ezekiel and he is a stud. He's a heck of a good cameraman too, but check out some of his work. He does some great art. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take some of these and make just some cool narrowing shape, something kind of like that. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna just pull these down. And as you're going through your as you're coming through this area, you're you're actually rolling your knife to deposit some paint here. Which I'm sure a lot of you already know, but we're getting a lot of newer artists kind of checking out our channel. And this is a fun technique that you can kind of kind of utilize and have fun with. This is a really good way to do some mountains, stuff like that. And remember, this is this is going to be abstract. This is going to be quite quite a crazy cool piece for sure. Um, I'm not even exactly sure what we're going to do with it, but that will come to me at the right time when it's time. What are you doing with it? So we are going to get some of this black in here to kind of contrast some of what we got going. What you think of that? I like it. What do you think you're going to make this into? You know, I think we're going to make it into just some awesome abstract art. Something that just is going to be super cool. Let's yeah. get some yellow on here. Should we get some yellow? Yeah. So now yellow we'll... would be great. Alright, and then what we'll do we're going to get some yellow and kind of fan it like this. Give it kind of like a cool little feel. Let's, let's get a little bit of yellow through here. Kind of working from that edge here. Just kind of keeping things. See, I lost my yellow. So now we're going to get a little more so we have more. We're going to keep working through this, this point right here. I want to kind of focus on trying to keep that kind of as part of our, part of our area. Yeah, something like that. You're going to take a knife, pull it through, get up there, and kind of pull it through, get it up there. And from here, I'm just going to pull it straight down and right out here. Yeah, I like that. That looks pretty cool. Can go over here? bit of some in there like that. Kind of remove some of it. A little bit in there. Kind of remove some of it just so it kind of fades in there. A little bit there. there just kind of giving it a little depth. Giving some of these little spots a little bit of And if you get a little bit on the back side there, just lift that joker around. Just so you know, we're at 9 minutes and 25 seconds. Okay. We are almost. We'll we'll something almost like that. So we're at about 9 and a half minutes. Um, this is the palette knife technique that I encourage all you guys to try and just have fun with. We are going to go ahead and start closing down this video, which is number two on the first abstract. Our follow-up video tomorrow will be covering this guy, and we'll probably have more movement here, and I'll walk you through that.